Good day. I am the teacher of English, Mikhailovska Nina Arkadyevna, and today we will have a lesson of English. The textbook is the textbook for Kazakhstan, Excel Great Time, by Express Publishing. We will have lesson six, module one, lesson six and the lesson objectives uh, refer to um, listening reading and speaking skills that is why uh, during the lesson we should learn how to understand the main points in an extended talk on a curricular topic discussing career options uh, we will understand specific information and detail in a dialogue on a curricular topic discussing career options. We will use formal and informal language words and structures to talk on a curricular topic discussing career options. This is module one, lesson six, and the section Everyday English 1D. The theme of the lesson is discussing career options. And the first task is, look at these sentences. Some of them are said by a career guidance counselor, CGC, and some of them are said by a student. You should identify who says which. Please do this exercise in your exercise books. Have you decided what you'd like to study? Вы уже решили, что бы вы хотели изучать? I'm still not sure what's best for me. Я все еще не решил, что же лучше для меня. Do you have any hobbies? Have you thought about studying? Вы подумали о том, чтобы изучать? That sounds interesting. That's what I'm here for. Вот для чего я здесь. Now let's check. You can see that uh, have you decided what you'd like to study is said by a counselor? I'm still not sure what's best for me is said by a student. Do you have any hobbies by a counselor? Have you thought about studying a counselor? That sounds interesting, a student. That's what I'm here for is said by a counselor. I believe that you have done this exercise correctly. Now we have the text. You can see the dialogue between a counselor and Asiel. Listen to it, follow my reading, try to understand, translate for yourself, and remember the information for further work. Have a seat, Asiel. Thanks. So, Asiel, have you decided what you'd like to study at university? I've been thinking about it, but I'm still not sure what's best for me. What kind of job do you think you might be happy doing? Well, I like the thought of working with animals, but I don't want to be a vet. I see. Do you have any hobbies? I like swimming. I also enjoy scuba diving because I get to see water animals and plants in their natural environment. How are you doing in biology and chemistry? I am doing really well. I usually get top marks. Have you thought about studying marine biology? That sounds interesting. Why don't you think about it? Discuss it with your parents and we'll talk again next week. Okay, thank you. You've been a big help. You're welcome. That's what I'm here for. Now, we have a task on uh, this dialogue. And you see the phrases. Uh, in the text, you have similar in meaning sentences. Try to find them. I understand. How is it said in the text? Again, work in your exercise books. Write down similar in meaning sentences or phrases. Is there something you like doing in your free time? What results are you getting in? Don't mention it. I am only doing my job. 
you may use your textbooks, look through the dialogue and write down similar uh, phrases. Now let's check. I understand. I see. Я понимаю. Is there something you like doing in your free time? And in the dialogue you have met, do you have any hobbies? У вас есть какое-нибудь, какие-нибудь хобби, что вы любите делать в свободное время? What results are you getting in? How are you doing in biology and chemistry? And the meaning of these two statements is how are you succeeding in what subjects are you succeeding in? Don't mention it. In the text you can find the similar meaning statement you are welcome. Пожалуйста, не стоит благодарности. I'm only doing my job. And in the dialogue, I believe that you have found that's what I'm here for. Pay attention to these phrases. You can use them uh, when you make your own dialogue at the end of the lesson. Now let's continue. Above uh, the dialogue, you can see four phrases that is uh, necessary to fill in in the dialogue uh, to make it logically um, and to make it um, logically understandable. That's what I'm here for. That sounds interesting. I'm doing very well. I'm still not sure what's best for me. Fill in in the dialogue to make it full and to make it understandable. So Becky, have you decided what you'd like to study at university? I have been thinking about it a lot, but choose one of the phrase. What kind of job do you think you might be happy doing? I think I'd like a job where I could help people. I see. How are you doing in biology and chemistry? Very well. I usually get top marks. And how about other subjects like math and English? Choose one of the phrases above. Okay. How about studying medicine? You could become a doctor. Again, you should fill in the statement from above. It might suit me. Thank you. Not at all. And use the last phrase that you can see above the dialogue. Okay, now let's, let's check it. You see the correct places of these phrases. Number one, I am still not sure what's best for me. Number two, I am doing very well. Number three, that sounds interesting. And number four, that's what I'm here for. If you're done uh, this task in this way, that is, wh that is why your work is well done. Your home task, imagine you have a meeting with the career counselor. Write a singular dialogue to the one that we have read on the previous slide. I have done a sample for you. Let's look at it. In the sample, I have changed the uh, school subjects and uh, I have suggested a new job. Let's listen to it. So what would you like to study at university? I don't know. What kind of job do you think you might be happy doing? I think I'd like a job where I could help people. How are you doing in history and English? Very well, I usually get top marks. Well done. And how about studying law? You could become a lawyer. That sounds interesting. It might suit me. Thank you. Not at all. That's what I'm here for. Of course, this is the example of a dialogue. You may use uh, any ideas from the lesson to make up your own dialects on the theme discussing career options. 
And this is assessment criteria. Uh, you can evaluate your achievements uh, during the lesson. How have you developed co competence in listening, in reading and in speaking? Put yourself, tick, if your competence is good. If your competence is very good, put a square. And if your competence is excellent, you haven't done any mistakes, put a square. Now let's try to say, now I can. Now I can listen to the text about career options and understand the context, and I can complete the dialogue with necessary speech structures. If you can't say it, that is why that you have developed your listening competence. Now about reading competence. If you can't say, I can read dialects without mistakes and understand the formal and informal style of the text, that is why you have developed your reading competence. And the last, if you can say, I can use corresponding to the situation speech structure and insert them in a new dialect, and they can make up an informal dialect on the theme of the lesson, that is why you have developed correctly, perfectly your speaking competence. And I'm glad to hear it. Our lesson is over. Thank you for your hard work. I wish you good luck. Goodbye.